Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to another video. This video is a bit random, but I spontaneously decided to give Advent of Code a shot this year and I thought it would be fun to film it and to share it with you guys and to challenge you all to participate in it with me. I sadly can't promise that I will post a video every day going through every exercise because I do have a full-time job, which is actually a bit demanding at the moment because I have a deadline for the last day of the year, but I promise that I will do my very best with the time that I have. So the day one challenge of Advent of Code for 2024 is called Historian Hysteria. It's kind of a fun mix between math and mystery, I would say. If you read through the problem, you quickly realize that we kind of have a chief historian who's like employed by Santa Claus. And this historian went missing and it is our job to help the other elves to find him. So we have a bunch of historian elves which are looking for the chief elf. And in his office, they found or they discovered two lists which contained location IDs that are relevant to finding the missing historian. And these two lists of location IDs, they need to be compared and studied so that we can figure out where he might have gone. So the first question of day one, day one has two questions in total. I think every day will have two questions. We have to calculate the total distance between the two lists by pairing up the numbers. So we need the smallest of the first list to be paired up with the smallest of the second list. And then we need to subtract them and basically calculate the distance. And then for every distance that we calculate, we need to add them all up at the end. I created this helper function called read input to read in the file which they provide as input. I parse the file and I store the data into variables list one and two. And then I return this at the end of the function. And then the function copy total distance was the code I wrote to solve the first question. In this function, I sort both of the lists because I wanna see them in the right order so that I can match them up correctly. Once I have that, I initiate a total distance variable and I set it to zero. And then I loop through the number of items in list one. And by the way, it's important to note that list one and two will have the same length. In this case, I checked. Then I calculate the difference between the item that's in position i in list 1 and in position i of list 2 and I do the absolute value of these and then I add that into my total distance and then at the end I return the total distance. This was how I solved the first part of the question and my answer was this 2285373 and the answer was correct. For the second part of the question we need to calculate a similarity score and we do that by counting how many times each number in the first list appears in the second list and summing the product of these counts. Basically, the number three appears three times in the second list. So for the number three, I would consider a similarity score of nine, which is three times three. To do that, I created the second function called calculate similarity score. And again, I pass in both lists as input. I created a hash map called number occurrence map, and this is for me to store the count of the occurrences. And then I created a variable for the similarity score, which I initiated at zero. So the first part of the solution is to loop through list number two. And if we find a number which we haven't yet stored in our hash map, we basically add a key to the hash map, which consists of the number, and we set the value to one, because this means that we have seen this number one time. If we have already added this number into our set of keys, then we will increase the count of the occurrence. The current count is whatever value we have associated to this key, and then we overwrite the value by setting it to current count plus one. So now we have a hash map which contains the count of numbers in the second list, and now we need to loop through the first list, the initial one. So for every number in the first list, we check if this number exists in our hash map, and if it does, we calculate the similarity, which will be the number times the value that we have associated in terms of occurrences of this number in the other list. Actually, I'm going to change this. This will be similarity score for a specific number, not a count. Okay, now this is better. I discovered the similarity score for this specific number, and now I'm going to add it to my total sum of similarity scores. So I update the total sum over here. And once I'm done with this, I return the similarity score, which I calculated. This is how I solved the second part of the problem. And the total sum which I obtained was this, 21142653. And it was also correct. So this was my solution for day one of Advent of Code 2024. 
I would love to know what your solutions and your ideas were. So if you are participating, please let me know in the comments and let me know how you decided to solve them. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe because it really supports my channel. And I would love to see you here tomorrow for day two. Bye.